So yeah. you've probably heard about Shadow Plus, you know, on a lot of the forums, and here's Chad to tell us a little bit about it. So normally we've, we're getting a lot of, usually the chain tension that the, that the piece spring helps out with um, does pretty good on most rides, but when you get in that rough section, you start to really get a lot of chain slap, chattering on chain stays, chains can then drop off of 2 by systems especially more frequently. So with the Shadow Plus derailleur, we're just going to uh, turn this switch to the on position. That engages a one-way friction pivot here at the P-axle. The derailleur still is able to move, um, but it's, it's a one-way friction pivot that slows down that cage substantially. So we've uh, doesn't affect shifting hardly at all. It's a tiny bit heavier going up the cassette, but it, the parallelogram and the shift indexing is still unaffected. But basically what that does is creates a nice quiet drivetrain with less chain drop up front. So it's really cool to be able to bomb into a really technical rock garden and uh, hear a silent drivetrain. It's a confidence booster definitely that's going to do really well for us, I think. Oh, very nice. Getting, getting really good feedback from from the racers and test riders that have been on it. And this is what's inside the Shadow Plus derailleur. So this, um, you can see how when you engage this cam, it tightens that band around that drum there, creating that one-way friction pivot. So it's still able to move, but it takes, it takes a lot to move it. Um, when you've got that loose, this is, uh, I've just taken off the cover here on the Shadow Plus derailleur. There's just three little two mil Allen bolts that you take off. This is your little tool that mounts mounts inside the derailleur. So by the, your wrench flats are right here on the end. Um, by driving in that bolt, pushes this mechanism over, tightening that band even more. So when you tighten, when you engage the um, shadow plus switch, it it tightens up. So you're able to fine tune how tight or loose you want that. Um, on your bike to kind of customize it for your riding style. Oh, very nice. And that guy just clips right back in there and you just throw the cover back on and it looks like that. And yeah, something you won't adjust very often, but just so you guys know, it is an adjustable feature. XCR, always high tech. I love it.